I was with the, uh, doing a lecture one time in uh, 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 Berlin with a, together with a very great uh, Theravada monk from Cambodia. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. He was called Mahagosananda. Maybe some of you have heard of him. Anyway, at that time, somebody asked about uh, uh, not eating meat. And related it with killing. Uh, so, uh, I said to them, uh, you know, you, you they, they were, the person who asked was a vegetarian, very strict vegetarian. I said, you are vegetarian, yeah? So, you don't eat meat, but you still kill. So he was very shocked. How how do I kill? I said because there's no way that you can support your life without killing other life. So I asked him, do you eat rice? Eat rice? He said sure. I eat rice. Then already you contribute to killing. This uh, rice plant, that's also a, a sentient being, a living creature. Yeah. Then the way rice is harvested, it's cut. Then this plant is cut. Then I said also, when the rice is uh, uh, cut, uh, there are many millions of insects that live in the rice field. When they lose their home, then many die. So you don't eat meat, but you still kill. Then somebody asked Mahagosananda, Oh, uh, Achan, do you, do you eat meat? Now, he's a Theravada monk. In their tradition, of course, he eats anything that's offered to him. Actually, he is not allowed to have any kind of special diet because whatever people give to him, he must eat. But he said, no, I don't eat meat. Then he said, I also don't eat vegetables. Then this person, then uh, then what do you eat? Then with a big smile, he said, oh, water, earth, fire, and air. <laughs> so if your father keeps this Mahagosananda mind, then now uh, this Turkey is no problem. Yeah. But if not, then next time don't don't buy Turkey. <laughs> you know, Zen is actually very, very simple. Too simple. Yeah, just like I said to you, what color? Then you said green. Yeah. You cannot believe it. That's the problem. Yeah. 
what? This is uh, clarity? This is enlightenment? No, there has to be something else. Why is this just a mystery? It's not possible. There must be You know, it's like fish swimming in water in the in the ocean and saying, "Where's the water? Where's the water?" Like in the sea, 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 in the 不同的见解，但是其实我们的这个修行啊，不是开悟的，不是关于开悟的。Our practice is helping others， 并不是关于度路的。我们的修行呢，就是帮助其他人。That's really the main point。其实那就是重点。So that means enlightenment. That's also not for you。也就是说呢，这开悟也不是为了你自己。Satori not for you。So we don't really emphasize so much. 其实我们并不注太注重这度路和开悟。啊 ，My teacher said to me once, "You are mathematicians, so mathematicians like formulas." So he said, "I have formula for enlightenment." 有一回呢，我老师就对我说，你是数学家。所以数学家喜欢方程式，那我一个方程式，我一个开悟的方程式给你。So he said, would you like to know it? 说你想知道吗 ？So I said, of course. 说当然了。I'm a mathematician, so I want to know this formula. <笑>我是一个数学者，数学家，所以我想当然想知道这个这个方程式。So he said, uh, uh, correct direction plus effort. Equals enlightenment. 他说，正确的方向加上努力就等于开悟。So what is correct direction? 那正确的方向是什么呢 ？Actually, correct direction has nothing to do with enlightenment. 其实正确的方向跟开悟没没扯不上关系。Correct direction is what I call for others. 正确的方向就是我所谓的为了大家。Then effort means you do it. 那努力呢？精进呢？就是代表只是去做。So that's already enlightenment. 那已经是开悟了。Okay. 好吗 ？Now our Zen practice is uh, uh, keeping don't know. 我们的禅修呢是保持不知。If you are scientist, this don't know is very vital, very important. 如果你是科学家呢，这不知是非常的重要。Yeah, everybody maybe has some understanding. The problem with understanding is this understanding then becomes our horizon. 每个人都有知见，当我们，但是问题在于这些知见呢，这些知见呢，就变成我们的水平线。Then sometimes not possible to see beyond this understanding horizon. 那这这知见呢，就变成我们的局限，也不能看超越这个局限。But if you have a big question, for example, what am I? 但是如果你有一个大问题、大疑问，就是我是什么呢 ？I like this young woman. What is this? 就会像这这一个女生，这是什么 ？Then this don't know appears. 那这不知就显显出现了。This don't know is very stupid. Has no idea. 这不知是很愚笨的，他没有想法。Yeah. So also has no horizon. 也就是没有局限。No horizon means anything is possible. 没有局限就是任何什么都可能。Then your intuition can grow up. 那你的直觉就增长。Then also what I call genius can appear. 那我就知道的天才才就显现。So if anybody is scientist, that's very important. 如果任何人是科学家呢，这是非常重要。Because if we only attach to our understanding, the new idea cannot appear. 那如果我们执执执着于我们的知见呢，新的呃见解不能出现。So I have a very good story, actually, from my life about that. 我有一个我从我自己生命中的一个故事。Ah, I used to live in in a center called Providence Zen Center in the United States. 以前我住在美国的一个普威顿啊禅中心
And this center was very near to university, which I also attended, called Brown University. Then one day, uh, a new student appeared at our center, and he started coming morning and evening. Uh, every practice, he was there. Then I heard he's a graduate student in, uh, in Brown University. And uh, next, somebody told me he's, uh, uh, he's doing his doctor degree in uh, applied mathematics. Uh, so, pure mathematics, which is where I had my training, applied mathematics, it's still mathematics. So I decided I want to say hello to this, uh, to this man. Then after we started talking, uh, he, uh, I guess he has very good ears, so he picked up on my accent. Then he asked me, uh, by any chance, are you Polish? So I said yes. And then he started speaking Polish with me. So it turned out he was also born in Poland and raised in Germany and now uh, uh, completing his studies in the United States. So we became good friends. Then, although he was coming every day, one day he disappeared. 